now that we're somewhat familiar with how radicals work, we're going to move on to how to add, subtract, and multiply radicals in 15.2. Let's start by remembering how we simplify terms. With terms, you have to remember that you can only add or subtract the ones that match, or the like terms. In this first review, you'll notice that 2x and 4x are like terms. They're like terms because they have the same variables, and they're to the first power, or they have matching exponents. Likewise, with negative 5y and positive 2y, they have matching variables, the y's, and they have matching exponents, which are 1. So when we combine them, we combine the matching 2x and 4x to get 6x, and we combine the negative 5y and the positive 2y to get negative 3y. Now that we've reviewed simplifying or adding like terms, we can simplify things with radicals. With radicals, you have to make sure that the indexes match and what's inside the index, sorry, what's inside the radical matches as well. Notice that it's the square root of 3 here and here. The number out front is not important because they can be added together. Likewise with negative 5 root square root of 7 and positive 2 square root of 7. Those are like terms because the index matches and what's inside the square root matches each other. Because of this, we can combine those like terms as well. Notice that it's easy to tell where they break because there's plus or minus signs in between each term. They just look slightly different now because they have square roots in there. 2 plus 4 is 6, root 3 and negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 root 7. Notice how they're similar to the original example that I showed you, but now we're talking about radicals instead of x's and y's. When adding and subtracting radicals, we can combine like radicals. In this example one, we need to look for the radicals that match. In this case, the square root of 6 and the square root of 6 match each other, while the square root of 11 and 1 square root of 11 also match each other. Let's go ahead and combine those root 6 terms to get negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9 root 6, and positive 2 root 11 plus 1 root 11 is positive 3 root 11. In example 4, we again have to look for like terms. We have to combine the like radicals, and so we need to make sure that the exponents, or sorry, indexes, and the number inside the radicals match. The cubed root of 5 matches the cubed root of 5 here, 
and the square root of 5 matches the square root of 5 in the second term. So let's go ahead and combine them. We have 1 cubed root of 5 and subtract 8 cubed root of 5 to get negative 7 cubed root of 5 plus 3 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5 to get plus 5 square root of 5. And that is my final simplification of adding like radicals.